Good evening, Mr. Fisher. How are you? Good, and you? I'm chilling, having a little bit of breath. All right, that's cool, man. Enjoy it. Well, thank you so much. All right, so how was your day? Mm, the same as usual, and like my old teacher always was telling us. <laughs> the same old story. <laughs> all right. That's all like we got. Just work, work, and work. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's no other way. Anyway, we got to keep going, right? <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah. All right. So let me see. All right. So your classmates are just getting connected. Jesus, most of them as a listener. All right. That is great. So what about the rest, guys? So how was your day? How you guys have been doing? How's everything at work? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, Isabel. Good evening. Ya andamos aquí de nuevo. <laughs> ya con todo. Listo, dice. Ready, steady. I am ready. Yeah, that's what I'm, I'm like getting in here. Hey guys, I have, I have been uh, checking your grades and most of you have already finished the platform. That's good, man. That is good. Vaya que le han puesto turbo la plataforma. That is more than good. So I was like kind of absent this weekend. Right, uh, and I see like like yeah, man. I have seen that most of you have already finished that, and that is cool. So uh, apparently, I was I was reading in the WhatsApp group uh, that uh, these people have sent you a link just to uh, get the inscription for the next module, so that way you can continue. The only thing is that I'm not sure if it, if that's going to be for this year yet or the next year, but. Probably, probably, that's going to be for the next year. Probably. Because uh, uh, in Safford goes on vacation, like in the second week of December, I think. Something like that. So I'm not that, that sure that you guys can uh, make it this year. But you can make it the first, uh, uh, as the first groups for the, for the next year. Right, so maybe January, right? But that would be good. So that way you might get the papers in there and all the requirements to continue with the classes, right? So if they have set you a, a due date, uh, try to do it, right? So for you to continue. Let's remember that, I mean, it's good, right? In these classes, they are short, but uh, you can learn, right? You can learn and practice right, as much, as much as you can, guys. So it will depend on the motivation that you might have. So that's a way how you will, you know, like learn more, right? So that's gonna be great, guys, for you, right? So, Sorry. Y cuando terminamos este módulo? If nothing happens this week, we're gonna finish on Monday. Porque supuestamente decía de cuando llené la inscripción el sábado, de, daba como fecha tentativa, si no mal recuerdo, decía 13 de noviembre, como eh, fecha tentativa del siguiente módulo, pero no sé, por eso. No, no exactly, porque el 13 de noviembre estaríamos nosotros terminando, de hecho. If you guys remember, uh, the last week we didn't have one class. La semana pasada no tuvimos un día de clases. La antepasada, so I had issues with the internet and we couldn't have a class. So apparently, and according to my 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 schedule, we were finishing right on Friday. But since we got the 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 holiday that was November the second plus the day that we didn't finish uh, the class because of the internet issues. So we're gonna finish on uh, Monday in seven days. Cause tomorrow guys, tomorrow we will be finishing 
at the section four. So it's gonna be four more days to finish the section five. So that's gonna be Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Monday. So we're gonna finish on Monday. If there's no other uh, issues, so we're gonna finish on Monday. So on Monday is the 13th, so mm, no, you're not gonna start uh, on November the 13th. Pero no sé la verdad cómo, cómo manejan estos grupos así, uh, because uh, with, the, with the other groups, they were like two or most three weeks just to start another um, group, right? Another module. But it, with this kind of groups, uh, it's like a little bit different as far as I've seen. This is the first time I have been teaching a group like this, one hour. So I think uh, the methodology or uh, the sequence might be different. So, but I'm not pretty sure on that. So they will tell you guys uh, to just fill the, the form just to get the enrolled in the next module. So that way you, you will, you will uh, know when are you guys going to start, right? They will tell you that. Because uh, on those administrative it, it things, I am not, uh, you know, like, I don't know anything <laughs> basically about that, right? So I cannot assure something that probably might not be true, right? Okay, but anyways. Uh, so maybe if, if you guys continue this year, so that will be great. If not, the following year is gonna be right on probably in January. But the thing is that you gotta keep moving on, right? That's what it is. All right, guys, for the ones who are just getting connected, welcome back to another video conference. So we're gonna start with the attendance list. Uh, very if you're connected. Uh, just to start with the class topic for tonight. So let me see, um, Alfredo Enrique. Present teacher. Okay, great. Ana Maria. Present teacher. Okay, great. Brenda Angelica. Brenda, Brenda. All right, so she's not here yet. Karen Beatriz. Mm, all right, I guess you're there, Karen, but I couldn't hear you, so I'm gonna put a present. Ah, okay, now I hear you. Selena Janet. Selena. All right, so she's not here. Clara Marina. Present teacher. Okay, nice. Christian Eduardo. Present teacher. Okay, very good. David Alberto. Present. Nice. David Armando. Present teacher. Okay, good. Dennis Gerardo. You working, Dennis? Get several days without getting connected. This is a listener, right? Diego Rodolfo. Present teacher. Okay, great. Erika Michel. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Fatima Laura. Present teacher. Okay, great. Gabriela Margarita. Gabriela Margarita. Okay, so she is not here yet. Griselda Jamilet. Uh, Griselda, Jamilet. All right, so Griselda is not here either. Uh, Guillermo Josue. Guillermo Josue. Okay, Guillermo is not here either. So just give me one second. There is someone number here. Jaime Vladimir. Present. Okay, perfect. Jenny Marisol. Jenny Marisol. All right, so she is not here. Jose Roberto. Presente. Okay, perfect. Jocelyn Abigail. Uh, 
Rafael Ernesto. All right, so Rafa is a listener tonight. Roberto Antonio. Present. Okay, perfect. Sonia Guadalupe. Present. Okay, great. Walter Manuel. Present, teacher. All right, good. Janira Isabel. Present. Okay, nice. And the last one, Judy Magdalena. Present, teacher. Okay, very good. So let me see who says present. Ah, Brenda. All right, Brenda, now you're here. Just give me one second. I'm going to set your attendance list. All right, guys. So we're going to start with uh, the topic that we're going to be discussing tonight. Basically, this is a follow up from the conversation practice that we had the previous <clears throat> class, besides that, the topic that we were just discussing at the end. All right, guys, what do you remember from the last class? What was the most relevant that we guys were doing? Can somebody tell me a little bit about the class from Saturday? I'm all ear, guys. Why are you turning on you? Uh, I mean, turning off your cameras, guys, instead of participating. ¿Qué recordamos de la clase pasada? So we're gonna set a short feedback from that, just to move on with the class today. Describing people. All right. So basically, we were describing people. Okay, great. What else? What else do you remember? Age and hair and como se llama físicamente también. Uh -huh. Okay. What else? If you guys remember, we were just discussing a little bit about a grammar focus that is on the on the PDF oh. we're working on the manual, right? Do you remember, guys? That uh, grammar focus, it was about describing people, but we were just practicing a couple of questions. The, I don't know, guys, if you remember those questions. That actually we uh, had an activity related to that. I don't know, guys, if you remember that. Clara? Did you remember something about that, Clara? Yeah. O sea, nos recetó el Windows del fin de semana. No, no, este, de lo que yo estuve anotando fue como, how long is her hair? All right. What color is his hair? Mm -hmm. How tall is she? All right. She, one meeting. No sé cómo se pronuncia el número, 88. Eh... How, how old is she? Dijo uh -huh. del, de la VAU que cuando no, no supiéramos muy bien la edad, que podríamos usar el la VAU. Ah, okay. Y si ya sabíamos, no era necesario. Uh -huh. All right, perfect. <coughs> okay, thank you, Clara. Very good. All right, so that was basically part of what we were discussing, right? If you guys remember, we were practicing a series of questions with categories. The first category, it was general appearance, right? That we just to ask questions like, ah, what does Walter look like, for example? So that's like to make a description physically speaking about Walter, right? So it's just like a common question to ask about physical traits of a person, right? So then we were asking questions using the age, right? So let me see, I, I think I have the, the manual here, give me one second. Okay, Jenny, thank you for letting me know that. This is for avisar. So just give me one second, guys, I'm gonna 
chair the manual. I think it's in here. All right. So if you guys remember, this was basically part of what we were uh, just discussing, right? Oh, give me one second. It's loading this thing. All right. Now you can see. This was basically the kind of questions, as I told you, that we were practicing, right? The previous class. And in here, we were talking about general appearance, right? To ask about physical traits, questions about physical traits, questions about age, right? Like, ah, how old are you? How old is she? How old is he? So you can ask like that, right? Questions about height, right? So here is like, how tall is a person or how short is a person, right? And talking about the hair, right? Like for example, how long or how short or what color or her color a person has, right? So guys, I guess you remember this part, right? So we're not gonna stop that much in here, but we're gonna continue with this part, guys. With this one. As I told you the last time, we couldn't finish this activity that we have over here. And this is like the activity that we're gonna follow up yeah. tonight, right? Yeah. It's assessing here, guys. Yeah. Write questions yeah. to match the statements, it says. Then compare with a partner. So if you guys see on your right, you have a series of answers in here. So what are we going to do in this case? We are going to set or write down in here a question that best suit this answer. For example, it says in here, my brother is 26, right? My brother is 26. So over here, what will be the question over here, guys? If the answer says my brother is 26. How is how the old is, old how old is his brother? Your brother. Okay, there you go. So you see? And basically we got here the answer to this statement. How old is your brother? All right. So my brother is 26. Right? That's missing their years old, but we're gonna set that on, on. All right, there you go. So basically, this is like how, guys, we are going to start with this activity, right? But uh, before continuing with this, guys, I would like to know who is as a listener and who can participate in the class. Let me see. Two people, I just got several people that says as oyentes. All right, guys. Todos los que no tienen la palabra oyente pueden participar. Can you guys participate? Uh, all right, very good. Yeah, of course I can. Okay, great, great. All right, yeah, I mean, I guess most of you can participate. Yeah, because... Yo tengo un poquito de mala señal, pero sí creo que puedo participar, teacher. Okay. How tall is your brother? How tall are you? How tall are you? <laughs> All right, so you can set up like that also. All right, guys, what are we going to do here? So I'm going to tell you to work on these questions. I want you guys in groups answering these questions, okay? And then right after answering these questions, I mean, writing down the questions to the answers. Right after that, we're going to make a short practice with those questions in here, and then we're going to set up another activity related to that, about physical appearances, but among you. I'm gonna tell you right after we come back in here, but right now, what do I really want you guys? It's to complete the questions in there, okay? You got the answers in there, follow up the answers, and what we were just uh, doing the last class. So just give me one second, I'm gonna send in here the people. Porque no los quiero mandar a trabajar con participantes o oyentes, so. Give me one second.
All right, so just give me a second. I'm just doing this manually. All right, these people are as a listener. Okay, guys, let's open up the breakout rooms and let's go to create those questions from the answers, okay? Let's go, guys. Then we're gonna come back in here. I need you to enter, guys, to the breakout rooms, please. Guillermo, are you there, mister? Can you participate, Guillermo? Guillermo, you there? Está ahí, Guillermo. Mm. Okay. Clara no le ha parecido todavía, ¿verdad? Eh, para poner, poderse unir. Ok. No, teacher. Deme un segundo. Estoy tratando de ver dónde la puedo colocar acá. Necesito ver si todos están uh, uniéndose. Uh, Jaime, I think Jaime has issues. So I'm going to send you to number seven. Give me one second, Clara. Number seven. All right. Accept it, the list of for all. Let's go to work in there. Griselda, what about you, Griselda? Do you have issues to get connected? Griselda, are you there? What do you mean, Clara? Hey, what happened with these people? I don't know why they don't enter the breakout room. I think I think they got issues with the internet or something like that. Cause uh, yeah, man, they they didn't get connected. Give me one second. There is one person here asking. Guillermo, Guillermo. Can you hear me? Me escucha? All right. Uh, but can you participate, mister? Because uh, uh, lo que haría es no lo voy a enviar a, a un breakout room, sino que lo voy a dejar acá con Robert y se les va a unir Clara, solo que Clara se, les, se desconectó, right? Y ya se va a unir acá. Quédense, los tres se van a quedar acá participando. Eh, para no tener inconvenientes, right? Yep. So I'm gonna go okay. and check the other ones while you're working here, okay? There you go, guys. Okay, thank you so much. All right. Teacher. Hello. Eh, tendrá ahí este que nos comparta porque no, no le logramos tomar captura. Oh, yeah, man, of course. Claro que sí. Give me one second. Okay, thank you. All right. Okay, there you go. Listo. Sí. You got it? Yes. Perfect. Okay, great. <laughs> teacher, teacher, teacher. What happened? No lo agarre, no lo agarre. All right, so just give me an. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna share it again. Okay. Ahorita. Okay. Voy sí. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna stop sharing here. Okay, let's start, guys. And me están pidiendo, solicitando ayuda de otro grupo, así que let's continue here. Okay. 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 All right. Nice.
teacher, solo yo estoy. Ajá, pen clara. No, eh, este, a usted ya la había mandado, la había, la, les había dicho a estas personas que dejé en la sala que las iba, la iba a dejar a usted. Oh, ah, well, give me one second. Jaime is coming. Bingo, Jaime, finally. Yes, I no teacher. I have a problem to connection. I don't know why. So, I mean, it happens. Yeah, yeah. I sent a message. Yeah, I man. Actually, I was texting you. <laughs> I'm gonna erase this. What I was writing down here. Okay, that was cool. So, Clara, let's practice with Jaime. Okay. Okay. There you go. Very good. <laughs> Do you have do you have a, a, a screenshot or or you have a manual there to help you up? Jaime, usted tiene ahí para compartir. Eh, no, no puedo compartir, solo que. Oh, pero me pero está tienen... el otro usuario porque estoy pero en la tienen... computadora también. Oh. Pero tienen la tienen la, las preguntas o se las puedo compartir y le toman captura. Sí, comparte, sí, le vamos a tomar captura. Okay. Digo. Here you have it. Yeah. Thank you, teacher. Okay, perfect. So I'm gonna stop sharing this. Okay, so let's just start working on that, okay? Perfect, guys, perfect. There was that. Light, Shiva. Sí, va. Sí. Sí. Tall and very good looking. Entonces sería como, what does he look like? Sí, cabal. La otra sería How tall is your sister? <laughs> Hola, dijiste, ah, no, 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 oí que dijiste, ajá, es how long is you, no, how long is sister, así como veo, what color. Así, <coughs> what color is he wearing? Arribita de esa actividad está está esa pregunta, no sé cuál podríamos poner. Ahí decidan ustedes. What color is he Um, ¿Qué color? ¿Qué color? ¿Qué color? ¿Puedo preguntar una pregunta, guys? Ah, uh, sí. Yes. Number three. Uh, girls, are, uh, can you, can you hear me, girls? Uh, the questions that you said there, guys. Uh, 
what what is what is the answer that you're working on? Because I see a question that says, uh, "What color uh, hair do you have, and what color is the hair?" What question is this? What number? La. Es que estamos en ese ahora cuál de las dos, las últimas que mandamos ahí quedaba mejor. Ajá. En la pregunta, hacer la pregunta. Ajá. En what color hair do you have? O pon, pondríamos what color is hair? Hair. Uh, but what question? But what answer is is that? This question is for what answer? What number? Uh, you mean um, Sharon has brown hair? That that's that's yeah. the answer for this question. Sharon, three. Yeah, number three. Esa sería okay. la, la esta sería yes. la pregunta para esa respuesta. Sharon has brown hair. Yes. Yes. Eh, porque si eso es eh, las dos estarían incorrectas las preguntas. Yes. Porque, porque si pueden observar, la respuesta es eh, de una tercera persona. Es como que yo les diga, chicas. Selina has brown hair. Va. ¿Cómo sería la pregunta que ustedes me harían a mí si yo les estoy dando esa respuesta? Ah... Um... Sería, what color hair do you have, Selena? No. Porque la pregunta me la está haciendo en primera persona. Do you? Oh. What bueno. color is here? Eh, pero his es para un hombre, Selena. Sería chis. No, tampoco. <risa> Hash también podríamos poner esto. Hash. Sería así, miren. Pero... ¿Por qué? Her, porque es el posesivo, la forma posesiva para referirse a una mujer. Ok. Yep. Her, her. Es tu cabello de ella. Yes. <coughs> ok. Thank you, teacher. Ok. All right. Y para la que me preguntó, bueno, la, para la que me leyó la pregunta de what color do you have, la pregunta en tercera persona sería así, miren, para que tengan una idea de cómo podría ir una pregunta de esas así. Sería más o menos así. She have. Uh, me faltó color. Give me one second. What color hair does she have? Sería así, miren. Ya en tercera persona, right? Usando otra estructura. Ok. Ok, teacher. There you go. Yes. Okay, perfect. So let's continue with the other ones, okay? Justo entró el teacher. Hello? Teacher, vi que estaba contando con mi compañero que ayer llené el formulario de inscripción. Allí en el formulario decía que teníamos hasta el 8 para llenar ese formulario en línea, uh -huh. pues ayer lo llené uh -huh. al nomás llenarlo me cayó un correo donde me enviaban otro formulario que, que me decían que lo tenía que imprimir, llenarlo y escanearlo y mandarlo adjunto con la copia de DUI al correo y que teníamos hasta hoy para mandar ese formulario eh, si no lo puedo hacer si no lo pudo hacer ahora, hágalo mañana no, no, no hay problema 
No, o sea, sí, yo sí ya lo tengo solo para mandarlo. Uh -huh. Pero hay algunos compañeros que dicen que no lo han llenado todavía eso. Ajá. Eh, por lo general se pone, bueno, debo suponer que ponen una fecha, sí, pero es como para agilizar el proceso, pero si sus compañeros igual lo pueden hacer el día de mañana, sería perfecto que lo, que lo llenen y lo puedan enviar. Ajá, es que como en el, en el mensaje que nos mandaron ahí a WhatsApp, decíamos que teníamos hasta el 8 para llenar ese formulario. ¿Qué? Ajá. Es que creo que están tratando de acelerar las cosas como para ver si se puede dar otro, otro módulo más este año. Porque como en, en Soft tengo entendido que salen eh, como en las, no sé si en la segunda o tercera semana de diciembre. Entonces creo que más que todo para agilizar esos procesos era que, que, que están haciendo eso para tratar de ver si se puede dar otro módulo este año. Si no, se quedarían hasta el otro año. Ah... Oh. Ya, yeah, pero de, igual, sí. compañeros, igual no lo tienen, díganles que, que, que lo llenen y lo manden mañana. Igual, o sea, no, 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 no creo que... O si puede avisarles o... que ahí me... ¿Hola? O si puede decir usted ahí en la clase. Ya, yeah, porque... ok, al final. Yo creo... <risa> yo, cre yo creo, pero supongo que nadie lo ha llenado porque... <risa> No había dicho nada de eso. Ah, uh, ok, no problem. Entonces ahí, ahí voy a avisar. Yep. By to, uh, so, so you guys can, can work on that tomorrow. Ah. Así los pueden, lo pueden llenar mañana, no hay problema. I guess it's, okay. like, it's like good. Ok. Have you guys been working on that? Yes, uh, we we are finished. Okay, you finished. All right, that's perfect. Mm. Okay, great. Just give me one second. I'm just looking at if everybody's just finishing this. Yeah, I mean, I guess everybody has already finished. So, okay. So let's go back to the main section, guys. And then we're going to check the information that you have, okay? Let's go back. Cool. See you there. All right, guys. So basically, we're going to check the information that you were filling up. Uh, Jaime? Sure, I have a question. Yeah, tell me. In this number seven, uh -huh. is I have dark brown ice. Ice? Ice? Uh-huh. Yeah. Ice. Ice. Yeah. Ice or ace? Ice. 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 Yeah. Como decir helado. <laughs> exactly. Kind of like that. All right, yeah, that's great. <laughs> ice. Only one I. <laughs> Both eyes, right? That's the way. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Yeah, okay, good. You're actually, you're Isabel with R. Okay. Okay, great, guys. So, Let's check the information that you have from the activities. Just give me one second. I'm going to share the information we got here. Okay. So we just did the number one when we left the practice, right? So in the answer, uh, my brother is 26. You told me. That in here was, how old is your brother? Right? So that's a slight question. Now, for the second answer, it says, I'm 173 centimeters, 5 feet 8. Robert, what do you have on that as a question? How tall are you? 
All right, perfect. How old are you? Like this. How tall are you? Okay. So that's the correct answer, guys. If you got it like this, it means it is correct, okay? Now with the next one, Sharon has brown hair. Okay, Christian, what do you and your classmate have in this one? Okay, the pusimos. Um, our hair is brown. Mm, oh, no, 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 Like this? Sí. All right. Let me see. Da, da, da. What color hair does Sharon? But Christian, in there is missing the perp. In there. Teacher, creo que dice que Christian lo habíamos hecho, bueno, como lo habíamos este hecho nosotros era what color is chat on her okay uh, me equivoqué es como habíamos hecho varias ahí <laughs> what color is chat on her like this yes what color yes. chat on her hmm Okay, there you go. So you can use it like this. What color is Sharon's hair? All right, and it's correct. Yeah, so this way, yeah, it is correct. What color is Sharon's hair? Or oh, what color is her, right? It is also another way just to look at this question. Okay, very good. Now, the next one. Uh, let me see the next one. It says, no. She wears contact lens. Roberto Guzman, what do you, Mr. and your classmate, have as a question in here? Okay. Does she wear contact lenses? Aquí tuvimos duda con si era glasses o lenses. You have it like this. Does she... Wear contact. You got it like this? Yes. Like this? Yes. Mm, no, mister, because it's here it says, does it. she wear contact lens? So here is like, and if you say like, no, she wears contact lenses. I, I mean, it doesn't make sense. It's because like in Spanish, you say, uh, usa ella lentes de contacto? Y como que la respuesta sea, no, ella usa lentes de contacto. O sea, como que, eh, it is like not properly working. The question is the only glasses, teacher. Teacher. All right. How it will be? Ajá. Eh, nosotros lo habíamos hecho así, o no sé si estará bien estructurada la oración, pero le pusimos, has she brown eyes? Como ella tiene ojos café y ahí dice, no, ella usa lentes de color, de contacto. Okay, so that's another one. Usted me está diciendo, does she have brown eyes like this? Yes. Does she have brown eyes? No, she wears contact lenses. No, that's, that's, that's another question that it might suit in here. Yeah, podría funcionar esta pregunta así también, right? Pero en este contexto, right, es aceptable. Pero lo vamos a hacer like de otra manera, ¿ok? So, why don't we set in here? No digo que está mal. No, actually, the, your question is pretty, pretty good, right? But in here, guys, as he says. Teacher, nosotros le hicimos diferente. 
¿Cómo la hicieron? Ajá, así como usted la escribe. Así. así. Does she wear glasses? Does she wear glasses? All right. Sí. So we can, we can use it this way. As I said, al igual que la respuesta, I mean, la pregunta anterior que me dieron, it is correct, guys, because that's another way how you can sit on this answer. Esta respuesta, de hecho, da a varias preguntas. La anterior que dijeron y esta otra. Does she wear glasses? Ah, ¿usa lentes? No, she wear contact lenses, right? Ah, no, usa lentes de contacto, right? So we can use it like this, right? So both ways can be possible, guys, okay? Now, let's move on the next one. The next one says, he's tall and very good looking, Clara Marina and classmate. What do you guys wrote in here? What does he look like? What does he look like? Like this? What does he look like? Okay, very good. Yeah, this is the way. What does he look like? Ah, he's tall and very good looking, right? So basically, this is like the way how you guys get here, right? Very nice. Now, let's move on to the next one. Thank you, miss, by the way. It says, my sister hair is medium length. So in here, Isabel, what did you and your classmate write? Isabel? Goodness, way, Isabel. <laughs> Who was working with uh, uh, Isabel? ¿Quién estaba trabajando con Isabel, tipo? Ay, permítame, teacher, que ahorita me ha dado una crisis de tos. <laughs> ok, no problem. I'm going to be uh, choosing the next participant. Ana María, what about you and your classmate? Have on this one. My sister's hair is medium length. Ana María. <laughs> Tenía apagado el micrófono. Ah, ok. How long is your sister's hair? Uh, can you repeat the question again, please? Because I didn't hear. How long is your sister's hair? How long is your sister's All right. hair? Okay, hair. Remember that, okay? Very good. Thank you, Ana Maria. That's the way. Okay, so we're going to get the last one. I have dark brown eyes. I have dark brown eyes, right? So that's just like the one that we got here. So Jocelyn, what do you and your classmate have in here? What color are you eyes? What colors? What color are your eyes? Like this? Yeah. All right, there you go. Yeah, so you can answer this way also, right? To this question, guys. Okay, very good. So what color are your eyes? All right, perfect. So there you go, guys. So this is the way how you can get in here, okay? Very good. Now, guys, we're going to do the last activity related to this. So I'm going to stop sharing in here. Okay, great. Guys, can you do me a favor? For the ones who are participating right now, can you guys turn on your cameras? Para los que están participando, ¿pueden encender la cámara por un momento, please? Please, please. Necesito esas cámaras encendidas para la próxima eh, actividad. Please. Porque sí, sí, sí. We need the camera on, guys. 
please. All right, guys, listen up. This is going to be the last activity. This is going to be short, right? But not related to, to, to the book. Okay, guys. Necesito que se enfoquen ustedes en un compañero o compañera, right? Choose one classmate. Cuando ya lo tengan, observen bien a ese compañero o compañera, right? Take a look at him or her, right? Class. Porque necesito en la próxima actividad que me escriban por lo menos cuatro opciones, les dan cuatro oraciones, describiéndome a esa persona. ¿Cómo ustedes consideran que es? Age, appearance, ¿ok? How the hair is, if it is long, if it is curly, if it is short, whatever, right? So basically all the characteristics that we guys have been working, the height, the hair, the age, and the general appearance, okay? So that's basically what we're going to be working on as the last activity. Perfecto. Supongo que ya tienen al compañero, right? Ya lo identificaron. You're describing it. Comencemos. Let's go, guys. Denme una breve descripción de esa persona que ustedes han observado. Solo que no me vayan a decir el nombre de esa persona. Vamos a tratar de adivinar de quién usted está hablando, ¿ok? So we're going to guess who you guys are talking about, ¿ok? Yo que los demás quizás no se bañaron, por eso es que no encendieron la cámara. Voy a saber dónde andan. <laughs> All right, guys. So let's let's work with the ones who got the camera on, okay? Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Let me know, guys, when you finish, okay? Or when you're about to finish. Just calm down, choose the person, and let's start working on it. Teacher. Yes. ¿Puedo comenzar antes que me vuelva a dar? Dele con todo. <laughs> if you want, if you got the information, go ahead. Okay. She has black hair, her eyes are, are brown, and her skin is burned. Her eyes is about 29. Okay. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Nos la puso difícil. <laughs> What's she talking no about? Está tan complicado. Who do you guys think she's talking about? Obviously, it's not about Clara because Clara got <laughs> a different hair color. <laughs> so, who you guys think she's talking about? ¿De quién cree que están hablando? Obviamente, de Clara no es porque yeah. tiene blonde hair. ¿Ah? Repeat the description. Yeah, man, you should repeat the description because it's a little bit tricky. Isabel? Tell me. Can you repeat the description again? Okay. She has black hair. Uh -huh. Her eyes are dark, dark brown. And her skin is burning. Here, eyes, um, age, sorry, is about 29. Her skin is, because ahí me quedé. Is, is brown. Ah, 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 got you, got you. Okay. Uh -huh. I got, I got my, I got my, okay. What, what is, how is he, her, her? Is it a straight? Is it curly? You have more details. Yeah. How is her, her? Como es su cabello? Curly? Eh, colocho, straight, liso. Straight, straight, straight. and black. Black, pure black. Jesus Christ. 
Yo se lo veo negro, no sé. You might be talking about Sony. Yes. Sí, sí. Hey. No sé, Congratulations, acabo, teacher. Acabo de ver a Sony así como, me, teacher, me. ¿Qué pasó? Okay, there you go. Good. So, who's next? Okay, I'm gonna. Hi, Robert. Let's go, Robert. Thank gonna, you. I'm gonna be the next one. All right. Okay, I far, as far as I see her, she's wearing green shirt and she got like brown, she got brown eyes or she has brown eyes. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay, no problem. As, as far as I, I see her, she got like black hair medium black hair all right and mm -hmm, it was like about what is her height what is her height height uh -huh. uh, i can guess like i guess it's like um, 5.5 feet or something like that mostly of of the girls mm -hmm. are pretty short <laughs> yeah about, me yeah, about, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> about her yeah about her age it's a little bit like it's not it's not easy to guess but i i i dare to say that she is like almost 30 years old almost 30 years old okay yeah. and i told you about her Hair or to I told you about about her eyes about her I didn't say you about I didn't told you I didn't tell you about her her skin okay what color is her skin okay her skin is brown or uh, help me you you can help me what is the right way to say uh, she has she has brown skin. Uh, yeah, you can say that, or you can say she, she got a, a tanned skin, tan skin, like like this. Give me a second. Um, tan skin. Uh, brown. Okay. There you go, guys. Who do you think Robert is talking about? And I forgot to say the last one. She uh -huh. didn't. She didn't wear glasses. Ah, so she doesn't wear glasses. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. So she's not wearing glasses. But nobody's wearing glasses in here. So, but uh, you guys, who do you think Robert is talking about? Come on, people. Yo sé que son buenos escribiendo la gente o adivinando. Creo que no van a adivinar esto. She is wearing green shirt. Oh my God. Oh my, he, he, he has said everything. She's wearing green shirt. Yeah. Jesus Christ, but I see nobody. Clara. Clara. Nah, she, she got a white, kind of white uh, shirt. Is it Clara? Yeah, right. She's Janina. This is me. Is, are you describing? Yeah, she's done, she's done here. Okay. Ah, yeah, she, she got a green shirt. Jesus Christ. Ah, es que por la luz lo miraba blanco. I used to say that white. Okay, very good. There you go. Okay, perfect. I just need one more volunteer. Necesito un voluntario más y los demás se quedan para mañana. There you go, Alfredo. Yo, teacher. Alfredo me levantó la mano. Teacher, yo. Usted va a ser la primera mañana. Va a ser la primera mañana, Clara. Yes, the number one. There you go. Uh, go, mister. Um, it's easy, girl. Puedo hacer la segunda. <laughs> okay. She, she had uh -huh. she had the curly hair. Curly hair. Okay. Um, black 
Junior. All right. And and she is C Joan. Ah, she looks Joan. Like Joan. Okay. Jesus. Um, how many curly hair people do we got here? Jesus, we got three. Uh huh. Continue. And total is medium height. Medium height. Sí, man. Aquí todos somos versión medium. Okay, good. Continue. Yes. All right. Finish. Ah, that's it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, guys. Who do you think he's talking about? Obviamente no es de Brenda, because Brenda le says, look at my hair, it's straight. It says. Who do you guys think he, he, Alfredo is talking about? Solo uno, people. <laughs> All right. Who do you think, guys? Clara, yo sé que las mujeres son bien perceptivas en eso, right? Clara, who do you think Alfredo is talking about? No, ni idea. <laughs> okay, let's see. Sonia. Yuri. 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 Here. Uh, uh, Alfredo, are you talking about Yuri? Sonia says Yuri. that you're probably talking about Yuri. Yes. Ah, Okay. Mire, y justamente lo tengo una ventanita al lado de arriba suyo a Yuri y usted está así como viendo hacia arriba como si la estuviese viendo a ella. <ríe> Qué curioso. <ríe> All right, guys. There you go. Yeah, man. Porque estaba pensando en Ana María, pero Ana María no sé si es que el, su cabello es curly o es que no se lo ha peinado. <ríe> no, Ana María, I'm just joking to you. Okay, guys. The rest is just for tomorrow, okay? Eh, los demás se me quedan para mañana porque igual no los quiero mantener acá, right? Like, like more than the expected time, guys. Entonces comenzamos mañana con Clara y luego Sonia será la segunda, okay? So, and then the rest, guys. We just got three people uh, participations tonight. So by tomorrow, we're going to continue with this, okay? Gracias por conectarse, people. I do really appreciate that. Para los que no han terminado la platform, please, si necesitan ayuda o algo que no comprendan, just let me know. I'm going to be here uh, trying to help you up, okay? Good night, people, and let's see you tomorrow, okay? Good night, it's tomorrow. Have a good good night, tomorrow. All right, you good too. Good night, teacher. Right. Uh, good night, teacher. Okay, good night, mister. Bye-bye. Good night, Good night, teacher. Good night. Bye bye. See you tomorrow, guys. See you tomorrow. Okay, bye bye.